Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into Chili's right now. Once again, before I begin, thank you for your continued support and everything you do to contribute contribute towards the growth of this channel here. We're growing really well and really pleased with it. I didn't really anticipate it growing to what it is, to be fair. I just thought I'd put out what I know and, and try and help others in this volatile space. And um, yeah, it seems to be going really well. And again, thank you for your continued support across the board there in the Telegram group, in the, in the comments, the likes, the shares, and obviously your subscription. It means a great deal, okay? Thank you very much. So basically, uh, we were targeting a, a breakdown there uh, on Chili's. We got it, we got bounce off his support. And that, you know, that's golden. That's golden. It's called the golden ratio for a reason. It's because because it's bounced off it. Like I said in yesterday's thumbnail, have we found a base? And hopefully we have, because if we have, you're looking at a full retracement for, for Chili's. It won't happen overnight. I want to make you aware of that. But the fact that you're bouncing off this support, look at the V-shaped recovery, okay? Look at that V-shaped recovery. Look at that ball pennant that played out as well. I think we're targeting a ball pennant in there yesterday where it went up, broke out, and it broke up, it hit the peak and come back down. At the moment, it looks relatively bearish still, okay? You are, I'm not going to lie, you are in a downtrend because you've got a four-hour bear cross just there. You're being pushed down, being pushed down, but you, you're acting off uh, support beautifully, okay? Beautifully. And at the moment, you can see you're just below the 55 EMA again on the four-hourly time frame. You probably do need to see yourself get above that because what will happen here, you get this EMA retest, okay? Like I said to you, you get a repel of the, the EMAs there. Because potentially, if you can get a bit of more upside here and march on and, and sort of attack that level there, the 0382, okay, you, you could be looking at a bull cross on, on the EMAs, just like we talked in yesterday. So you do need to see it march on. The volume's starting to pick up. Look at the volume now. It's getting some relatively decent volume in there. So it looks good. It looks good. The fact that you've bounced off this 0618, okay, and you, you are holding it at the moment is really solid, okay. But I'm not going to lie to you. You may see a retest of that. But what I would anticipate, if you was to fall through here, okay, I've not got crystal ball, but this is what you do want to keep an eye on. If you get this, then this is golden, okay. So I'm going to lay down a little trade in here right now so what may potentially happen for chilies if you don't get this bounce off here now okay and get this proper v-shaped recovery okay which is a really good recovery because what you're doing all you're doing look you, you've got the resistance line of the v-shape see that v-shaped recovery and what you're doing now you're back testing it support and you're hogging it see that line there you're hogging it and you do look like you're falling through it a little bit there okay to be fair so if you was now to see this okay on chilies where it does fall through and it sort of comes down but it doesn't go as low as this okay and, and gets a little bounce off like that off some kind of level there which you can target if you zoom in you zoom in you get this is how it works honestly it's bizarre the more you zoom in the more you see if you were to zoom in you would see a little fib retracement there where this particular move this impulsive wave and corrective wave is coming back down to like the 0618 okay you get a little bounce down here and you're making something called a high low and you're making a w double bottom okay and you have a support line well a resistance line okay and it's effectively a, an ascending triangle look okay so if you come down now you lose this as support and you start to come down but you make that high low you get some kind of bounce just there okay not quite as low as this 0618 you get that bounce and you start to march up if you get through this resistance level here which is roughly roughly the 05 which is 047 because you see it's hitting its resistance back test and support now which is what you want to see you see things get through resistance back test and support and if it holds it's golden okay it's golden if you get that little w double bottom that's great because that's really tradable and, and you could actually target a, a, an upside there from there to there so you're potentially looking at a pump okay if if you lose this you need to pay attention if you lose this to support and it starts to go down it looks bad you'll see a bit of a correction on chilies but if it bounces higher than this low here you'll be looking at a w double bottom and that's your breakout target up there so you could see a potential march on to that 0382 which is up at 055 i would anticipate a pullback there though i would anticipate a kind of rejection there where it hits its head okay and that's that's a little bit of uh analysis on chilies right there because what i'm going to do i'm going to show you you see what you're going through here okay is exactly exactly what you've gone through there okay and this is why you always move to the left and lay down fibs and lay down trend lines and stuff like that. You've gone up in a massive impulsive wave. You've topped out. You've made a high. You're retracing, okay? You're falling back on levels of support. Look where you fell on, the 0618. Look where you fell on there, the 0618. Just there, though, you've got a really good V-shaped recovery in, in the current uh, time frame, okay? In the current trading, because... I don't know, did some news come out or something like that? Something must have pumped it up on that V-shaped recovery. But right now, if you look, 
you came down and you bounced off to 0618. See that level? I'll move this over for you. So yeah, you came down, you got that little V-shaped recovery, but you hit your head on the 05. Do you see that in the previous correction? Hit your head, you come down and you made this W double bottom. Look at that, W double bottom. You see these, these are really tradable, okay? Really tradable because you have a level of resistance. Because what it is, it's just like when it makes a double top and I'll show you, look, there's a double top just there. I'm gonna show you that in a second, okay? You've got two really highly tradable events just there, one after the other, okay? So just there, you've got that resistance line. You see that? And the resistance line is a 0.5. You, you fell down, you made a low, which was on the 0.618, okay? Then you started to come up, you hit your head on the 0.5. Then you got rejected, you come down. But what you did, you made a higher low, which is what we're anticipating now if you was to fall through that level of support, which is on the 0.5 again. It's weird how things work, okay? Falls down, makes the higher low, starts to come up breaks this resistance okay and look at it it pumps and you, that you can actually trade that you can that's tradable and the target is always from there to there look at that boom so you when that breaks okay i'm not saying it will but if it does you go long and you set your tech te profit okay and that was actually a decent little trade we'll have a look at that what was that that was that was a 18 percent trade right there okay so that's a good little trade and that's what i was saying you can trade in and out and make money on these little consolidation events and i will show you the trades so effectively what you've got is a reversal of that this double top do you see that so you've gone up just like that you've made a high you come back down you've tested a level of support which was a 0382 you've gone back up you failed to make a secondary high higher than this one so you're making a lower high okay you fell through the support and when you fell through the support you had a target which was there down to there because you always go from the peak of the high down to the neckline okay of the double m and that's a w okay like a mcdonald sign and then what you do you move that down and, and look boom when you lost the support you had to take profit and that that was equally roughly 18 percent trade perhaps okay 16 percent trade so that was a nice little trade so you make money on the way up make money on the way down it is that easy okay and all patterns always repeating just there just there boom straight off the bat head and shoulder reverse inverse head and shoulders you got your left shoulder head and then you got your right shoulder and when it broke it it pumped look it pumped and you got the the target there you always see patterns so roughly you know that's your inverse head and shoulders and that's your neckline just like there to there and then when you pump look you pumped and, and some okay when you break that level of resistance because just there you've got a left shoulder a head and a right shoulder you've got your, your resistance line there you break it you go long then there are little in and out trades that you can do okay and it's not just about holding and, and, and open it goes to the moon you can you can sort of sell here okay sell here buy back down here sell there buy back down here sort of thing so your accumulation it's called accumulation okay so i will try and teach you these things but at the moment enough rambling on what you're doing you, you you're copying something very similar to this sort of previous high and consolidation event so hopefully you know if you can get that w bottom if it was to fall through don't panic don't be scared as long as you make that higher low okay target that high low and then and draw yourself a trend line up here okay in your charts just there draw that if it was to lose this now i'm not saying it will because you might get the bounce so you're looking at a nice v-shaped recovery there okay you got that ball pennant and it pumped up okay and you're now back testing this 05 047 as support which is really good but if you do start to lose it don't panic okay don't panic because you, you're potentially looking at a, a w double bottom where you're going to bounce off a high low march back up get through this resistance and then you're looking at a nice pump there and that pump is if it happens uh another 16 percent pump and you would this is what happens you start to break through you you pump up back you test levels of resistance you're not going to march through them straight away come on you've got to be sensible you know these are really tradable events when that goes up sell when it comes down buy goes up sell comes down buy accumulation game so that's basically chillies at the moment um it's it's a bit flat it's a bit boring and it probably go on for a little bit while, uh, longer as well actually but at the moment you're showing really good signs of strength you bounce off 061 you're moving up you're marching on really really good really strong and i said that we wanted to see that as long as you don't start losing this 061 and you're not looking at a grander correction on the, the bigger scale that's what we want it's beautiful it's still bullish i'm not going to lie to you so this we can measure this uh, consolidation event right here from that high to the time you broke out and started to march on was roughly 45 days okay so if you're going through a long sort of um consolidation event like that again then you're looking at roughly and this is what we do you just you just sort of measure things and you can get a rough guide 45 days did we say so you're sort of looking at that sort of level there which is the 26th of april so roughly around the 26th of april if 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 chile's now can sort of do something like what it's done before march on and start to get back up 
you may be looking at getting to its previous all time high round about uh, the, the, the um, what is that the 26th of April which would be nice okay so it's all good it's all good still bullish still good bullish back testing these level of support marching on you're obviously going to hit your head on these resistance levels really highly tradable events do take care everyone I'll see you soon bye bye